Awesome. Welcome Facebook Live. Welcome my peeps on Zoom. Thursday Muay Thai. Let's get this party started, you guys. Swati Kat. So, uh, this, uh, this week we've been going over a lot of head movement stuff. Uh, a lot of hitting off head movement, stuff like that. So, let's get a little warm up in. Hop right into curriculum. Starting off, warm up. What we're going to do, we're going to work our heel toe sway. Give me one second. Set this up. That way Coach Roman can see my scrawny little legs better while I do the heel toe sway. Close enough. Perfect. So, check it out, you guys. Heel toe sway is all about pivoting. I know you guys can't see my feet right now. Sorry about the camera angle. But what I'm doing, it's like I'm squishing a bug with the ball on my foot, but I'm in my good fight stance. So heel toe sway, I'm just gonna pivot. I'm gonna bring my shoulder and my hip in front, and then I'm just going back the other way. So heel toe sway, just back and forth, you guys. So pivoting, you know, rotating my shoulders, rotating my hips. This is good for getting those hips engaged, getting your shoulders aligned with the rest of the body, getting that motion all in one, and warming up your back your core, and your legs. So just heel, toe, sway. Heel, toe, sway, back and forth. This is a very key motion, you guys, in what we do. This is very important to have, especially if we wanna generate power, generate knockout shots. Our good heel, toe, sway. Now I know you guys can't see my feet. I'm pivoting all the way, so that means I'm at least going 90 degrees with my heel. So from facing back to now my heels facing towards this side of the room. So here, and then same with the front foot, you guys. Same with the front foot, back and forth. One of the things I see a lot, especially during testing, especially during, um, a lot of just walking around helping people with curriculum is not enough pivoting, uh, be it on our cross, be it on our kicks, stuff like that. So let's work a lot of that while we're uh, stuck in our house doing a lot of shadow boxing, focusing on our pivots. So another drill we're gonna do real quick just to warm up, I'm just gonna do my jab and my cross. I'm gonna engage my hip and my shoulder for each side, but on my cross, I'm gonna pivot on my jab, I'm just gonna engage this hip by lifting onto the ball of my foot. So I'm just gonna go jab, cross, jab, cross. Just back and forth. Bang, bang. Trying to engage the hip and the shoulder with each punch, making sure they start to synchronize, you guys. It all becomes one motion. I don't want hip, shoulder, punch. I want all of it as one. So one good fluid motion. And this is good just to warm up the shoulders. Keep doing our pivots so our hips are getting warm too. Back and forth. Couple more seconds. And time, all right. So, like I said, focusing a lot on our pivots because uh, we're stuck at home. We can't focus on power shots, hitting pads, stuff like that. So let's get those little details down. That way when we come back, we're that much better. So, um, like I said earlier, We've been focusing a lot on body mechanics, especially boxing body mechanics. So our slips, our bobs, and our rolls. So real quick, we're just gonna do a quick review. We already covered this uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and we're about to do a little review today. So once again, slips, hands come to a defensive position. Always my chin is tucked, elbow to hip, you guys. All in the core. Just getting that head offline, back and forth. Just getting the head offline. So if you're out there watching, 
Facebook Live or if you're doing it on Zoom with me, make sure we got a good defensive position while we're doing this. And we're just going back and forth. Nice and fluid. Nice and fluid. I don't want to be stiff and rigid and trying to really jerk my shoulders down. I want to be relaxed. Everything we do, we want to be nice and relaxed. So just like this. Once again, side profile, you guys. I'm not trying to lean forward or lean backwards on my slip. It's just side to side, same plane. This one's good for warming up your back. I can feel it. My back's a little tight from sitting around for the past couple of days. Awesome. Next one, Bob, elbow to opposite knee. I'm gonna come down as I do. My legs are gonna do a little pivot and a lunge. I'm using that heel toe sway that we did to get this shoulder, this hip in front as I come down and I'm getting a little crunch over the top. So Bob down here, right back up. Bob down here, right back up. Just back and forth, you guys. Now this one, I am coming a little forward. Unlike the slip, I am coming a little forward. It allows me to take space to get uppercuts, other shots that I want. We'll go over that here in a little bit. So just nice, good bobs, getting down there. I don't want to go too low, especially in Muay Thai, to get me in the face, but I still want to get out of the way. Awesome. Now for the roll or the bob and weave, we start off with the bob. So pivot, boom. We come down, elbow to knee. I'm not touching them, of course, but I'm bringing it in that direction. I get my little crunch, that brings me down here. Now what I'm gonna do, this leg is gonna flatten back out as I come under and up. Same with this side. Pivot, boom. Elbow to knee, good little crunch. Flattens back out, come under and up. Coming down, under and up. Just like this, you guys. Make it nice and tight. Once again, I'm not bending over when I do this. I want a good strong back. If I'm bending over, try to bob down to here. That's why I'm gonna catch a knee to the face. Lots of fun. Don't do that. So, nice straight back as we go down and up. Keeping that head up. Awesome. So those are our three basic body mechanics. Um, our our uh, slip, our bob, and our roll. Now let's go over two more. I'm gonna do the snap back and the duck. So the snap back, I'm just here. I'm just gonna pull back out of range of that punch. So I'm just pulling back. Once again, hands are up, chin is tucked. If I don't pull far enough, or the reach is longer than I expect, I still want a good guard up, but I'm just gonna pull. Boom, just like this. If I want a further pull, I can step my leg back as I pull. So I can step back and pull, or I can just pull. Just working this back and forth. Awesome. And last one is our duck. So duck, I'm just, I'm just staying in my stance. I'm just going to drop my hips. So my upper body's going to stay the same. Nice, good, tight guard. Chin's tucked. But I'm just going to use my legs to drop my hips down. Get under that punch. So just duck and back up. Duck and back up. All right. Just like this, you guys. Down, up, down, up. Awesome. So now that we've gone over all of those body mechanics, uh, last little thing we're gonna do for our warm up is we're gonna do some body mechanic shadow boxing. So it's a lot like defensive shadow boxing where we're just working our defenses, but here we're just gonna work head moves. We're just gonna work our body mechanics and our head movement. So, 
good nice boxing stance if you want or good nice Muay Thai stance things aren't really going to change off of that but we're just going to be doing our head movement wherever it is boom here here pull slip slip roll bob bob just moving around you guys just moving around Making sure we're getting the whole body nice and warm with our body mechanics. Once again, as with anything shower boxing, I'm not staying in one spot facing the same direction the whole time. Just kind of like statically sitting here, but I'm active moving around. I'm turning, cutting angles. I'm moving forward, back, left and right. Kind of mimics a real life fight scenario. So, here, boom, pulling back, quarter turns. Just doing what we can to move around. Visualize that opponent. What are they throwing? Awesome, awesome, and time. Cool, uh, the head movement shadow boxing, um, that's one I like a lot. It's good for, you know, really working uh, your head movement, of course, those body mechanics, but working your defenses. Uh, like I said, visualize that opponent, you guys. That way, it's not really going to help your reading, per se, because you don't actually have someone sitting there throwing real punches at you, but it's going to help you visualize what works where. So... Work on that on your own, and uh, you should be good. Next off, let's go over a little bit of curriculum. Like I said, we're going to review a bunch of this stuff because we already chatted about it on Tuesday and on Wednesday, but uh, we're going to come up with a couple of little combos to put it in review real quick. So our split entries or our slip jab, slip cross, same thing. So as I slip, we're starting off with my split entry jab or my slip jab. As I slip, that jab's gonna come out. Boom. As I slip to this side, I am slipping a jab. So it would be jab to jab. Because uh, I don't wanna slip to the inside of a jab and throw my jab. That leaves me open for the cross. And I don't wanna slip the jab or slip the cross and throw the jab because his shoulder is going to stuff my punch. So it's going to be jab to jab. So his jab comes, I'm going to slip, and I'm going to throw this down the middle. His punch would be right here. My punch would be coming this way, right there. Give me one second. Awesome. So one more time, as I throw the jab, slip, punch comes off this way. Boom. Now with the cross, same thing, slip, punch comes through this way. I'm leaving a little gap in my shoulder. I'm not protecting my chin with my shoulder like I usually would. That just leaves the punch a little bit of space to clear my head, go past. Um, you know, that's the avoiding part of avoiding the punch. So once again, slip, throw. Bang, right there. Boom. 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 Jab. Cross, jab, boom, cross, bang, all right. So those are our split entries. Um, I wish I had a demo person here. You know, I could show you in more detail where those punches would be, what my lines are, but uh, just visualize that punch coming. We're slipping and then we're throwing our punch right down the line of their punch. All right, so the next one, we're gonna do our bob uppercuts, bob uppercuts. So like I was saying when we were doing the bob, we wanna get in a little closer. Well, not really close, but we're gonna be taking a little bit of space. Just with this movement right here, I take a good maybe uh, half a foot. So that gets me in range for my uppercut, you guys. So as I come in, bob down, boom. Notice as I bob to this side, I'm loading up my lead side. So lead side's loaded up. So that's the shot that's gonna come. I'm gonna lift my hips as I do this, and I'm gonna throw that uppercut right up their guard. So if they're like this, I'm trying to come right up through here. 
One more time. Bob, uppercut. Bob, uppercut. Now on the rear side. Bob, uppercut. Bob, uppercut. Just back and forth, you guys. Bang, bang, bang. These are some of my favorite shots actually off of straight punches, especially uh, the cross or the jab. If I'm slipping it or if I'm bobbing it, I'll get that extra little dip just to get a good, powerful uppercut. So as I come down, boom, straight up. Down, boom, straight up. Once again, I'm not digging my uppercut. That means I'm not dropping it down, really trying to drag it on the ground with my knuckles. I'm making it nice and tight. So as I come down, as I come up, it doesn't leave my face until it's time for it to move and come under and up under that target. So boom, nice and tight, nice and tight. Last one we're gonna review are roll hooks. So as I roll, boom, notice I've come up to this side, I've loaded this side, rear hook. So if I roll to my left this way, I'm gonna come back up and I'm gonna throw my right hook. Now if I roll to my right, boom, I'm gonna come back up, left hook. Once again, I'm using my heel toe sway to generate that power, make sure um, I'm getting good, strong shots. Good, strong shots. So once again, roll, hook, roll, hook. Just back and forth, you guys. Getting good, little fluid motion going. Bang, 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 boom, boom, boom. And if you can hear me, I'm making my own little sound effects. Huge advocate for making your own sound effects. Um, makes it almost exactly like you're hitting pads, you guys. Almost the exact same thing. You know, it's hard to tell the difference when you got your own sound effects. So, now that we've covered all that, let's make a little combo out of it. So the first one, I'm just gonna work my split entries and my roll hooks. So the first one, I'm going split entry jab, split entry cross, and I'm gonna roll rear hook, roll lead hook. All right, one more time. Split entry jab, split entry cross, roll rear hook, roll lead hook. So just going uh, back and forth with that, I want you guys to work it for, I got here, we're working it for a minute and a half. Now when I say go, we're just gonna throw 10 straight punches and then we're gonna do two rolls. So on my go, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, roll, roll. Just like that. So once again, combo, split entry jab, split entry cross, Roll, rear hook, roll, lead hook. Now we're just gonna shadow box that, move around you guys. Uh, if you're following me on Facebook, find a little spot. I can't see you, but I trust you're working out with me. So find a little spot that you can move around, get some good shadow boxing in. So as we go, split entry jab, split entry cross, roll hook, roll hook. Moving around, moving around. Bang, bang, uh, yup, yeah. yup. Yeah. And go. This is the 10 straight punches. 10, and then the two rolls. Right back to our combo. Bang, bang. Tuesday, you guys. So if you weren't watching Tuesday, 
It was the little combo of the week I told you guys we were going to keep working on Thursday. Well, we're bringing it back. So, check it out. Combo is jab cross, slip slip, hook cross. Now I'm going to roll, body hook, head hook, roll, body hook, head hook. So, what I'm adding in here that we haven't worked on yet is as I roll, I'm going to body hook and head hook. So, as I'm down here, might as well make a little pit stop at the liver, come back up, touch the chin. Now go back, make a little pit stop at the spleen, I think, come back up, touch the chin. So, combo again, jab, cross, slip, slip, hook, cross, roll, liver, chin, roll, spleen, chin, whatever's on the right side, maybe your kidneys, maybe your kidneys, or on your left side. If you can dig around for that kidney, you guys. So, one more time. Jab, cross, slip, slip, hook, cross, roll, shot, shot, roll, shot, shot. We're gonna do the same kind of, uh, we're gonna do the same kind of drill that we were doing uh, with the first combo, where we're just gonna shadow box it. I'm gonna call it go. We're gonna go 10 straights. And then after those 10, instead of just rolling, we're going to do bob uppercut, bob uppercut. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Bang, bang, all right? Just to add that in there. So let's get to going, you guys. Combo. Let's go. Jab, cross, slip, slip, hook, cross. Roll, shot, shot, roll, shot, shot. Boom. Once again, moving around. I'm not staying static. I'm being active. And go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bob uppercut, Bob uppercut. Nice. Go. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Bob, uppercut, Bob, uppercut. Back to combo. Bang, bang. Ha, ha. Pop, pop. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Now it's better if you got a target. So if you got somebody to, somebody you're living with, um, you can use them just as a target. Tell them to stand still while you start throwing combos on them. You know, of course, tell them to have their hands down so you can work your targeting and. You know, these aren't our training partners. These are just people. So, of course, we can get nice and power shots on them. Awesome. Uh, keep going with the combo. Keep going with the combo, you guys. A couple more minutes. Bang, bang. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. If you need to slow it down, that's fine. Think about those body mechanics specifically. Um, how they work with the punches we're throwing. Cross, boom, pop, boom, pop, bang, bang, boom, boom, hook, cross, roll, bang, oh, roll, bang. Awesome. Last time we're going to go jab cross for 10, and then we're going to bob, uppercut, bob, uppercut. Time. All right, you guys, now let's go over two little drills that we can work at home, especially for head movement. Uh, one of the big ones that a lot of people don't do when they begin uh, working head movement is they don't do head movement while moving. So they'll stay stationary and they'll just kind of sit here back and forth. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna move forward, backwards, left and right as we do this head movement. So as we do our head movement, I'm going to be moving forward, and then I'm going to be moving backwards. Then I'm going to be moving left, then I'm going to be moving right. Just back and forth. We're just working the slip right now. So just moving around, head movement. We don't need to be doing anything crazy right now, like we're not cutting angles and trying to slip at the same time.
just forward, backwards, left, and right, you guys. Just with the slip right now. Then we'll get into the bob. the bob. As I go down, I'm going to be moving forward and back. So here, 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 boom, boom, boom. See what the most natural, most comfortable way is to move while you're doing these uh, types of head movements. You don't want your Feet to get all missed and mixed, uh, messed up and mixed. Sorry about that. You don't want your feet to get all messed up. So making sure it feels natural, but at the same time, I'm getting good movement either direction. So. Last one, we're just going to do the bob and weave, you guys. So as I move forward, I'm just going to bob and weave forward. And then bob and weave backwards. A good way to do this drill also is if you got something long like hand wraps, the really long hand wraps, or if you have like string or a rope, tie it to something kind of head level over here to like over here. And you can bob and weave under it, moving forward and back and left and right, so that that string's right there to where your head would be. And you can make sure you're getting under it every time. So still, bob and weave, going left, going right. Going forward, going backwards. Awesome time. The only other drill I have for you guys, um, if you got like a tennis ball or like a, a wall ball, a racket ball, something like that, is toss it at the wall or a sturdy window, make sure it's sturdy, let it bounce back, and that's when you'll do your slip. Um, I grabbed a tennis ball, I was going to show you guys, but the tennis ball I have is all wet, so as soon as I threw it at the wall, it just kind of splatted and then fell down. So that's not going to work for me showing you guys, but like I said, tennis ball or a lacrosse, not a lacrosse ball, a wall ball, racket ball, just throwing it on the wall and then slipping it as it comes back. Throwing it on the wall, slipping it as it comes back. All right. Last little thing. Uh, it's just going to be our little, uh, our little blitz round for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down. I'm going to do the first half of a burpee. So I'm going to drop chest to the ground. Boom. I'm going to come up. I'm going to do 10 straight punches. And then I'm going to jump. Uh, yep, just like that. So we're going to be going for... We're gonna be going for about two minutes, but it's something you guys should work on your own. I'm gonna take this hoodie off because it is already getting nice and hot in here. So, hoodie's coming off. All right, check it out, you guys. So I drop, boom, chest down, I come up, one, two, three, four, five, boom. Drop, come up, one, two, three, four, five, Jump, and then keep dropping down, just like this.
making sure we're keeping up a good pace. Four, three, five. Making sure our punches are coming back to our chin each time. They're all the way extended. I don't want short punches like this. I want full long punches. And that's going to be the exercise of the day. I want you guys to do it for, uh, let's go three minutes, a minute break, three minutes. So six minutes with a minute break in between. That should simulate a good fight round for you guys. Keeping the cardio high, keeping the blood flowing, good explosive, straight to that punching, more explosive. All right, you guys. Other than that, uh, that's all I got for you. Thanks for joining me, Sawadee Cop. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the nice little snowy day we got just about to get started. So, awesome.